gasoline I smell? Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you all are doing amazing as always and it's me Joe as always and today guys I want to talk about Megan and why I think that this movie uh, might very well suck. Now listen, I am so excited about Megan and just, just because this movie is like the first big horror movie of 2023 and I obviously want... Uh, this movie to succeed and to be good uh, But I am definitely skeptical now the movie is gonna come out in like two days I think it's coming out on January 6th. I think and Honestly, I am skeptical because of mainly like two things two reasons essentially I have The, the, the first thing is that this is a PG-13 movie now There was an article that came out a few days ago uh, With uh, one of the producers saying that uh, there was like an R-rated version Let's say and that the PG-13 version they got you know they got uh, is actually even much scarier than the original cut which I think that's bullshit, I don't think that's true, you know, like, this movie, just just when I saw the poster for the first time, I was like, this has to be an R-rated movie, and it's not, it's a PG-13 movie, now, th obviously that's not a reason to hate this movie, or to, you know, say, oh my gosh, this is gonna be bad just because it is PG-13, to be fair, there are a lot of horror movies that are PG-13 and, uh, and are actually good, you know, but I think that a movie like this about a killer doll, I think you want an R rating on this. Now, obviously, this is not like a killer doll, this is like an advanced AI, and it is pretty cool, I really do dig how uh, Megan looks. Now, they actually released a short little clip from the movie that I want to react today. I want to do a reaction, uh, <laughs> so let's see what this clip will, you know, uh, what what this clip includes, you know, what's, what's, what's gonna be about, so let's see. You're just a stupid rubber doll with fake hair. <gasps> Ow! Let go! You need to learn some manners, Brandon. <laughs> you know what happens to bad boys that don't mind their manners? They grow up to be bad men. <laughs> Are you listening to me, Brandon? <laughs> Megan? <laughs> this is the part where you run. And that's it guys, so this was the short little clip that was released from the movie, and few things. First of all, uh, when Megan was sort of like ripping uh, the ear off, the effect th itself looked kind of fake, honestly, it kind of looked like a gum, that's like the first thing that I've noticed while watching the tra this in the trailer um, clip. And second thing is that this is, again, a PG-13 movie, and that means almost no blood. So when the boy lost his ear, <laughs> uh, you can just see that there's almost no blood, and he's kind of, like, holding it. But, like, there should be a lot of blood. Like, if this, hap if th if this actually uh, happened in real life, you would see a lot of blood, and there's no blood at all here, just a little bit. Just so it, you know, just so it gets that PG-13 ranking. Now, to be fair, obviously this is a uh, big Universal slash Blumhouse movie, and it was, and I believe that it was even produced by James Wan. You know, if if I remember correctly. So this is like a big bet by Universal and Blumhouse to make a new, cool horror franchise about this killer AI doll Megan and again I really do really do like this and I am I was so excited when I saw the trailers and everything and I'm still you know excited to see this movie I'm just worried that this movie might be bad you know especially when it's PG-13 and you know it's a movie about a killer doll that kind of like that doesn't really 
go uh, go well together, you know. So yeah, I mean, I'm still excited to see the movie. I'm just afraid that it's gonna be bad, or not bad, but more of like mediocre. You know. Anyway, guys, are you excited about Megan? Let me know down below in the comment section, guys. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Take care as always, and bye.